Good afternoon and welcome to the latest episode of Play Print 21, the weekly video news bulletin for the Australia and New Zealand print industries. This episode is sponsored by Ball & Doggett, Australia's largest supplier of printable materials and press room consumables, and now supplying wide format equipment. Blue Star is investing $30 million in a new production facility that will consolidate several of its current Auckland locations into an integrated 25,000 square metre site. A site already contains its WebStar heat set operation and we'll see its commercial and digital operations move in uh, and they'll be up and running by the end of this year uh, with its Blue Star Constellation packaging business that's set to come into the new building in the near future. The new Blue Star site uh, will ramp up the company's manufacturing capacity, notably in its folding carton packaging capability, uh, which remains a key strategic focus for the business going forward. The company is revamping its press fleet as part of the investment with a new highly specified B1 Koenig & Barra 6 colour double coater uh, with hybrid features press arriving shortly. Installation expected to begin at the end of this month. Uh, the press uh, will be the first of its kind apparently in the region. Also investing in packaging is Bright Print Group which is Sydney based Bright Print Group which has acquired more print in a strategic move to boost its packaging printing operation with the more print founders and directors Russell and Lynn Morrow now retiring. Bright Print will bring the uh, Jagenberg folder galore and the Heidelberg cylinder uh, from more Print's facility into its uh, Sydney Wetherill Park production facility uh, as well as the staff. Uh, Bright Print already prints packaging uh, and its Newcastle facility ha already has a folder glue line. Debbie Burgess said, we're looking to grow our packaging printing. Uh, the more print acquisition will certainly add to our capabilities and help us to achieve more. Located in Rydalmere, just five kilometres actually from Bright Print, uh, more print was established by Russell and Lynn Morrow in 1982 with a duo installing a Heidelberg GTO in their garage. Common story. Uh, the business grew consistently and its decision to move into packaging seven or eight years ago and invest in the Jagenberg uh, has proved successful. More print is now looking to sell its 1996 Komori L628, 97 million impressions, uh, and its uh, polar guillotine, and it will also sell its building. Specialist custom textile printer Coat & Craft has installed a new Epson Mona Lisa ML8000 direct to fabric printer. Uh, the company Coat & Craft says the new ML8000 means it will be able to print has installed a new Epson Mona Lisa ML8000 direct to fabric printer. Uh, the company Coat & Craft says the new ML8000 means it will be able to print fabrics in a tenth of the time of its current systems and says it will enable businesses currently sending their fabric print offshore overseas uh, to have it printed here onshore at its Sydney facility. Coat & Craft specialises in providing printed homewares for Australian small businesses and artists with items including the likes of tea towels, cushion covers, aprons, napkins, tote bags. Uh, Karen Singh Menoak uh, operations manager at Coat & Craft said, the ML8000 makes it possible to cost efficiently print directly onto fabric and to do short run customised fabric printing here in Australia. This means, he said, it opens up many doors for artists and creatives to market their designs and garments as 100% Australian sourced, designed and printed. No need for costly offshore printing any longer. Well, great news. In a major win for TMA in its decade-long fight against the Philippines government in relation to the 100 million joint venture in a thermal paper printing operation, uh, with the, uh, the, the win means the case is because the case is now listed by the court of the World Bank in Washington, D.C. The listing means the Philippines government will have to abide by whatever ruling the court hands down or risk having assets seized by the court and handed over to TMA. TMA Australia is seeking compensation for the $100 million investment, plus damages of a significant amount, uh, from the government-owned Philippines Charity Sweepstake Office, PCSO, over the collapsed joint venture $100 million thermal paper plant, which was built in 2008. According to TMA, when it came time for the PCSO to uphold its end of the bargain by ordering and paying for paper produced by the uh, TMA plant, various divisions of the government reneged on the deal. Uh, the plant has since been mothballed. The case will likely take three to four years uh, to reach the court, but once this decision has been made, uh, that, that judgment will be binding. Finally this week, Label Power is bringing its Melbourne operation, Action Labels and Nameplates, under its branding. And, and that's uh, started this week. 
four years after it completed the business, or four years after it acquired the business. James Malone, owner of Brisbane-based Label Power, said the move to one brand will move, mean an improved service, an expanded product range, a quicker turnarounds, and a Melbourne showroom for all its products. Founded in 1945 in Melbourne, Action Labels and Nameplates has been providing labels and nameplates for 79 years, uh, known for its expertise in durable and industrial labels, nameplates, and in screen printing. But since uh, July 2021, when Label Power bought it, Action Labels has also been producing labels and tags uh, with its digital UV cured printing uh, with opaque white CMYK hub, a uh, CMYK, sorry, uh, inks and digital matte and gloss varnish on its Epsom Shore Press. That's it for this week's episode of Playprint 21. Go to print21.com.au for all these stories in depth and more. You won't find them anywhere else except on the industry's print news website. Thanks to our sponsor, Ball and Doggett. This is Wayne Robinson signing off for another week.